On July 25th, a U.S. soldier defected to the DPRK, and we now know some more information about it. According to U.S. officials, the 23-year-old soldier did so willfully and without authorization. On Tuesday, Private Second Class Travis King had recently just been released from custody in the South, where he allegedly served two months for assault charges on a South Korean national last September, according to a U.S. Army spokesperson. King was said to have been, have been uncooperative with South Korean police, yelling obscenities at them and kicking the inside of the police vehicle. He was sent to fly home to the United States to face a court-martial in Texas, but somehow managed to ditch his escort and made his way out of the airport terminal. King was dressed in civilian clothes when he joined a tour group to the demilitarized zone at Panmunjom and ran across the border, crossing into the DPRK. King was said to have been laughing as he crossed the border between the two blue buildings where Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un met just a few short years ago. It is unclear if King planned his defection or if this was something he did on a whim. Though as a trip to the DMZ usually takes days of planning, and given the history of U.S. defectors to the DPRK, it seems like the likely case is the former. While there is no word yet from the Korean Central News Agency, Kim Jong-un, or any other official from the DPRK, it is believed that King is currently in the custody of the Korean People's Army, where he is probably being questioned about his intentions. Depending on if King decides to stay and cooperate with the people's government officials, he will likely find work in the propaganda department, likely starring in anti-American media. King is not the first defector from the U.S., and certainly not from the U.S. military. One famous case was Joseph Dresnok, who along with several others fled across the border in the late 1960s. Dresnok starred in several films in the DPRK, settled down, and had a family and a fairly privileged life until his passing in 2016. His sons were also officers in the Korean People's Army and also have starred in several films. King will have a difficult choice to make as his decision to cross the border has now created a firestorm and a major embarrassment for the U.S. Army and the State Department, and he is already facing military prosecution at home. Whereas if he cooperates, he could be set up in a nice apartment in Pyongyang and a good job and could live a fairly nice life if he stays out of trouble. Regardless of what he decides, he certainly has brought a lot of attention on himself, and now he must live with the consequences, whether good or bad, that comes with that decision. I'm Red Pagan Nicole, and this has been Red Pagan Corner. Until next time.